Hello and welcome everybody, I am Socio Psycho, and today we will be looking at a game called Line. This was developed by Thomas Boker, and it is a puzzle game of a sort. And first off, let's talk about the options menu, or therefore lack of. Now, when you start the game from your desktop, a small screen will pop up and it will offer you the screen resolution, which they have actually implemented a fair bit, which is appreciated. There is no volume slider in the game, so if you do have volume issues, you will have to do that via desktop. I have not had any issues with the volume. It's been fairly adjusted appropriately, and it goes perfectly with the puzzle as you complete the puzzle. Now when we go into the campaign, there's 150 puzzles. I have done 125, and out of that 125, I would have to say three of them gave me pause. And of those three, only one of them actually made me have to come back to it later. So the game, at least if you're experienced in puzzles, is not only that difficult. If you're not used to puzzles, then maybe this is exactly what you need. I mean, it's still a good game regardless. Another mechanic is for daily. Every day, randomly generate around 50 missions for you. And such as you see, two simple level sets, tomorrow two mid-level sets, after that maybe it's two heavy metal sets, and it just all mixes together. So let's jump into this, and I'll explain to you exactly the mechanics of it. So you see these squares and the diamonds and the colors. Now a blue can't go into, one color can't go into another color, and it needs to collect all the other little colors before. This connector also needs to be completely filled up. So you find the pattern you need to, and you complete it. Given a certain layout as the map continues, it has a potential to get a little um, confusing if you're not careful. You can't go on if there's a mechanic that's not completed. Your task is to get the entire map fully registered. Now, as far as difficulty goes in this game, it's like I stated before. It is not overly difficult, and I found no, I personally didn't have an issue with it, but it's still a satisfying game. I can't find fault with the game, in truth. The mechanics of it are very simple, and the puzzle layouts, for the most part, I found to be easy. But if you're new to puzzle games, then perhaps that won't be the case. And this is definitely, for two dollars, I can't, you know, for two, it's two dollars. It's worth two dollars, and that's really what the important thing is. Now, do I think I'll, I'll come back to this because, in the future, it's not likely, just because of a difficulty rating for myself. But it is a, a entertaining little game. So this is pretty much what you see right here, and what you get, and this has been, my little overview of it. It's definitely it's definitely good if you want to train your brain. If you're not used to puzzles and you're looking for a way to increase your focus capability and thought process, doing something like this is definitely an excellent starter. That's pretty much what I have to say. I mean, it's a very simplistic game. This is basically all the mechanics. Later on, the connector prongs here increase from two to three. It plays and handles well. And for beginner puzzlers, it's a nice little casual game. For $2, I'd recommend it, yeah, no problem. No problem at all. So I hope this uh, has helped you out in your curiosity of the game. And play it, enjoy it. See you next time.